Okay folks, this is great because as a V50 editor I've always wanted to edit my patches and I've always wanted to be able to make new patches much more easily than menu diving on the synth itself. And finally, someone has helped to develop this Max for Live device for Ableton so that you can finally, finally, finally make a few good patches, save them on the synth. And also, the MIDI is so fast that you're not going to have any problems automating it. It's not like stuff like the Alpha Juno or like the... Uh, matrix where you have to change firmware or get cc converters or any of that stuff this thing just works and it's great and it's fast and it's smooth and it's beautiful he also does one for the dx11 he does one for the tx81z so you can check them out but today i'm going to give you a quick run over so you can see exactly how good this thing is right so this is how i'm doing it basically first of all i'm going to show you a few things each one of these sections here, I've got an operator assigned to it. That's just how my MIDI controller panned out. It's kind of the way I've dealt with it. It goes to Ableton, that then goes to the synth. ADSR, decay level, frequency, wave. I decided I'd do that. You can do whatever you want, but well, I got eight for each op, so that was enough for me to have some fun. Level of each operator, that's more important than you would think. Then I've got this slider that I've used for the eight different algorithms. On the waves, you've got seven different waveforms you can choose from. All automatable, it's incredible. You can do it really smoothly, no problems at all. Uh, let's get going, beats from the RD8. So first of all, I'll show you the operators and then I'll go through the pitch EG which I've set up with a BeatStep Pro here.
Anyway, there's a bit of a jam for you. You can hear and you can see that it's all automated as well because it's Ableton. <laughs>